this is Ian and I'm going to show you how to make video presentations just with the use of Microsoft Office PowerPoint. Let's start. Okay, we are now looking at the user interface of Microsoft Office PowerPoint. This version is called PowerPoint for Office 365. And there are two methods of making video presentations I will be showing you. With the first one working only with this latest version. The second method is a workaround for those with earlier versions of PowerPoint and it takes advantage of a standard built-in feature of saving MP4 videos available since the 2010 version. So why are we using PowerPoint in the first place? First, it often comes bundled with most PC purchases, if not MS Office, the minimum standard for Office suites. Thus, this method will not cost anything. Second, the steps are easy enough to follow, as I will show you how. Let's begin. The first method makes use of an inherent feature of Microsoft Office PowerPoint. What you just have to do is go to the Slides Show tab and click on Record Slideshow, exactly this icon. Okay, and we're going to record here from the current slide. And what happens is there's going to be a new screen that's going to appear. And this is where the recording will happen. So you have the record button on the upper left corner and just have to click it. Okay, so I'm there on the camera. I'm using the default camera here. Although you can change settings, for example, you can um, make use of another camera here or the other um, microphones. But, uh, but I'm, I'm actually recording on another camera so that I'll be using that recording there for the other option uh, method that I'm going to show you. Now, you can have a uh, notes here, okay? So there are no notes. I'm just going to do it spontaneously. Um, well, you can start from other slides, okay? Or this current slide. So to start off with the recording, you just have to click this one, okay? And it's going to start one, two, uh, two, three, three, two, one. All right, so I'm live. Um, what am I going to say? All right, so I'm Ian of Ideation Builds, and I'm going to pitch to you about the tabletop price meal that's in the pipeline uh, of the product development of the company. Okay, next slide. Well, to start off, let me say that brown rice is a healthy food product, but that it's pricey. And it's partly due because of the equation down below, uh, where we see that brown rice equals milled white rice plus the brown blah 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 blah. So once the recording is done, what you just have to do is click the stop button on the upper left corner again, okay? And the recording will now be inserted into your presentation. That's it. Just have to close it, the window, and there you go. Now to save the presentation as an MP4 video, you simply have to go to the file menu option and then click export. Okay, and then create a video. And well, the recorded timings and narration should be ticked. It just means that the uh, video recordings will be inputted uh, as a part of the slides. Now save the file with the file name and then click OK. Now the software, the PowerPoint software will be saving the file in the background. Well, not really in the background because you won't be able to make use of the software of PowerPoint while the file is being saved. This is now the second method of making video presentations, which is a, a workaround since you are not able to record directly into the slides of the PowerPoint, which is synchronized with your uh, clicking, okay, for with your uh, slide activities. Now, what you should be doing here is to record your videos already with your uh, PC camera or uh, using your phone. So that's that's another option. Um, and you should have to make it available already on your desktop. A while ago, I already said that I already was making a, another video using another camera. So that that way, I was recording at the same time the 
uh, PowerPoint was recording for the slides. So to start, I already located the, uh, the video and I'm going to go to insert and then vi video in my PC. Okay, and I've already selected the correct video here and inserting it should take a while before the, the video can get inserted. And once it's done, okay, there it is. I can resize the video and move it around even, okay? I can resize it and place it at the same location as the video from a while ago, okay, and move it around. So I decide to place it on the top right por portion of the slide. And I can also edit it using the trim option besides others, okay? Once the videos have been inserted into the slides and edited appropriately, uh, well, here I I did a behind the scene activity of trimming this, the videos and then inserting them into the right slides. Uh, we can now go to the tra seamless transition of the, um, the slides. A disadvantage of method number two is that you won't be able to synchronize your slide activities, the clicking, uh, the effects, with your video. So what we are going to do now is we want to make sure that the video is going to play automatically. So you go to playback and then click automatically in the start. You won't edit any other thing here. Now go to animations and then you should make sure that it starts with the previous okay this means it's going to start at, at immediately okay and then the duration would be auto and then delay is zero so it starts at the beginning now the transitions there should be no transition but make to make sure just leave it at zero one second and then you unclick this one on mouse click and then after okay you make this uh, zero okay that would be it now um, just to check you can play the slide with the slideshow and you'll be able to immediately play the video when it's going to run okay Now to save the slides as a video using method number 2, you should go to File, Save As. You can see that you're not going to export it as an MP4 because it won't, it does not have the synchronized slide video property of the previous method. So we're going to Save As and now in the File, Save As option of File Type, you should click uh, mpeg4-4 video and now you're just going to save and it's going to save in the uh, location where you have previously uh, located it so save video number two okay now you can see it's it's going to create the same video uh, file as the export button did all right so it took around six minutes to save the file and there you go you're just going to find uh, the video where you where you saved it and you're done with your video presentation i hope this was a uh, of great help to you so please subscribe and watch my other videos Ta -da.